Hi, welcome to the 5-Minute Proxy. I'm Bill Oaks with Blue Coat Solutions Marketing, and today we're going to be talking about Microsoft SharePoint. Now, as you know, Microsoft SharePoint provides a single integrated location where employees can efficiently collaborate with team members and leverage business insight to make better informed decisions. While use of SharePoint is important for employees located at corporate headquarters, it's equally important for remote users that have access to the same collaborative power. One could even argue that this kind of application was really targeted for remote users to make it easier for them to collaborate with users back at headquarters. Now local users access SharePoint over a local area network and can perform typical operations in less than two seconds. On the other hand, remote users, whether traveling or in branch offices, access the data at corporate headquarters over a wide area network. Now WANs have higher latency and less bandwidth than LANs. And latency is the number one issue that reduces response time. The end result, for those users out in the branch office, data transfers and normal tasks are slow, which results in reluctant use and can cause some workers to bypass business processes i.e. using email to collaborate with no revisioning control. For instance, for a user at a branch, over a pretty typical WAN scenario, downloading a 6 megabyte Word document can take 45 seconds, and a subsequent save will take yet another 45 seconds. And downloading a 29 megabyte training video takes almost 5 minutes. And this is assuming a wide open WAN. Results will be even more degraded if the WAN is used for other activities, which is very likely. Bluecoat has been working with Microsoft for almost a decade to optimize Microsoft products. With SharePoint, Bluecoat has licensed the SharePoint protocols and integrated them into ProxySG to help accelerate SharePoint specific traffic. So, by placing a ProxySG at the branch and back at corporate, what ProxySG does is utilize five unique technologies that provide acceleration for SharePoint. Object caching. This caches repeated static information, reducing bandwidth requirements and latency. Byte caching. This caches any application using similar data, reducing bandwidth. Compression. Reduces the amount of data transmitted, saving bandwidth. Bandwidth management we can prioritize limit or allocate bandwidth by user or application. And finally, protocol optimization removes inefficiencies, thus reducing latency. So this all sounds really good, but let's take a look at each one of these to see what it really means to your company. With object caching, what we do is intercept the client request at the local proxy, in this case, at the branch. The first request will go across the WAN to complete the request for data. Any subsequent request for that same data will be served locally and at this point 100% acceleration as no data is actually going across the WAN. So with byte caching, what happens is pretty straightforward. ProxySG examines common patterns in the data stream it's receiving. What we'll do is pull out common patterns, put them in a short reference, and pass the reference over the WAN to the receiving ProxySG, which then converts all of those references back to data patterns. The end result? Incredible bandwidth savings. With compression, we use industry standard algorithms to compress all traffic between the two proxy SGs. This removes predictable white space from content and objects being transmitted, once again, saving bandwidth. With bandwidth management, we're going to prioritize, limit, or allocate bandwidth based on user or application. We can divide traffic into classes and then guarantee priority and minimum or maximum bandwidth based on business priorities. This even works with SSL and works with your Packet Shaper or other QoS appliance, assuming you have one. In this case, first we have a salesperson placing an order in the sales system. Now most companies are going to consider that a reasonably high priority for usage on the WAN so we'll make sure that they get a minimum guaranteed bandwidth, but we're going to put a cap on just how much they can have. So a second salesperson comes along and wants to make a query on the sales system. Well, that's kind of important, although not nearly as important as making the sale itself, right? So 
we'll give a guaranteed bandwidth and put a smaller cap on it. Along comes a non-sales manager who, for whatever reason, is sitting at the branch and wants to take a look at a fairly hefty client list. Well, that's important information, but not something we want clogging up our WAN. So we're going to say no. We're going to block the request until the manager is back at corporate. And finally, we've got a marketing person looking for sales trends. While important, hey, it's just a marketing guy. And he has to wait a bit while sales orders fill up the WAN if that's what it is. So we'll set a low, lower priority, not guarantee a minimum bandwidth, and put a cap on what he does get. So with this level of control, you can ensure that your WAN's bandwidth is completely aligned to your business needs. Now with protocol optimization, we've done a couple of things for SharePoint that really optimize performance. First, the protocol that SharePoint uses between users and the SharePoint server is somewhat chatty. And for every packet sent, either a request or a response, it expects an answer before sending the next packet. So what ProxySG does is give the user that response without bothering the server. Likewise on the other end. This has a dramatic impact on latency, as you can see. Second, rather than sending the packets one at a time, Bluecoat will put a bunch of them together in the link between the two proxy SGs. This again reduces latency and means that the data transfer time is 10 to 100 times faster over the WAN. On a side note, Bluecoat has also licensed the SharePoint video streaming protocol to ensure an equally optimal video experience. So at the end of the day, what does all this really mean? Well, here's how those five technologies work together. Here we have that typical use case, an online review of a Word document, in this case, six megabytes, using SharePoint's edit and save feature. This WAN, again, is pretty typical, a T1 line back to corporate with latency about 100 milliseconds round trip. So the normal time to open or save a file is 45 seconds, as you recall. Now with blue coat cold, this means the first time you make a request, it's 12 seconds. That's what byte caching, compression, and protocol optimization do for you. The warm, that would be second or subsequent request, is two seconds. That's almost a 25 times improvement, and that's what object caching does for you. And what about bandwidth? Well, bandwidth without ProxySG is 13.3 megabytes. Bandwidth with ProxySG is 0.85 megabytes. That's a 95% reduction. So, in summary, SharePoint is an incredibly valuable collaborative tool for you and your company. However, SharePoint can be quite painful for branch office users due to latency, often resulting in those users bypassing the controls SharePoint has built in just so they can be functional. Using Bluecoat's unique WAN optimization algorithms, ProxySG offers substantial improvement for SharePoint users, 10 to 100 times faster. So, for more information on SharePoint and Bluecoat, visit us at www.bluecoat.com. Thanks for taking five minutes from your schedule to listen to this presentation, and stay tuned for the next five-minute proxy.